guys, in a year where Wolf started off with a 2-0 defeat to Crystal Palace and a deflated performance, there is one thing to look forward to. All the balmy transfer news going around about Wolves. So, this is my first Wolves transfer news and rumours video of 2019. So, let's get started. The year old Englishman is on loan from Chelsea at Aston Villa and he scores 16 goals in 20 appearances. That's nearly won a game. That is some good form indeed. However, last time he was in the Premier League, he only scored 5 goals in 31 appearances for Swansea. So, is it a bit of a gamble? Yeah, he hasn't reenacted it in the Premier League. So, I do think he would offer something different off the bench. He's got height, he's got pace, and he has got a goal scoring touch if you get him in the right positions. So, for me, guys, this would be a great signing for Wolves, especially in our first season in the Premier League. Guys, he's Gaston Pereira. Yeah, the man in the thumbnail. He could be the missing piece of the jigsaw, and I actually believe this because he's an attacking midfielder at PSV. He's 23 years old, he's Uruguayan, and in 16 matches, he scored 8 and got 3 assists. I personally think, guys, that one thing that Wolves are lacking in this team is a midfielder who's going to get up the pitch and get goals. I know Ruben Neves is capable of getting a few goals, and so is Martino, and Gibbs Wright has come on, added more energetic and creativity in there. However, the one thing we need is just someone who, in the midfield, can help out the attacking force and get goals. And by the looks of it, Gaston Pereira could be that man. And guys, going to players going out, Courtney House is heavily linked with a move to Aston Villa, and apparently a deal is close for it, so as Tammy Abraham could be leaving Villa and Chelsea to join Wolves. Courtney House looks like he's going to leave Wolves to join Villa. I think he's a good young kid. He's got definitely got the promise of becoming a good defender. I'm not saying he's a bad defender. I do think he's a good defender. I just think he lacked a bit of experience. That's all he needed, experience. And he's not going to get ahead of Bolly, Cody or Bennett. So you might as well get him out and get him where he's going to play football for his personal career. So that's a good move for Courtney Howe. Well, guys, that if we do sign Tammy Abraham, it looks like Leo Bonatini could be out. And to be honest, guys, I don't have much confidence in Leo Bonatini. When he first came, he was on fire, and then he went in a bit of a sticky patch. But at least he was still keeping the ball and getting players involved and all that. And he did show a bit of that in the Premier League against Tottenham and that, but not consistently enough. Since then as well, it's took him like a year to get one goal in the cup. So... It's not exactly good, is it? And it doesn't exactly give you confidence when he comes off the bench. You go, yes, you know, and you can see Nuno doesn't have confidence in him either. Otherwise, he'd be playing a lot more. So, personally, guys, if we sign Tammy Abraham, I do see it being the end of Leo Bonatini's reign at Wolves. So that is it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then hit the like button. If you're new, then hit the subscribe button. And let me know in the comment section what you'd think. Do you think Gaston Pereira could be the missing piece in the jigsaw? Do you think Tammy Abraham could be a good signing? And would you like to see Courtney House leave Wolves to join Aston Villa? Let me know in the comment section, and I'll speak to you guys later.